is uh, organized by the Center for Cybersecurity, Faculty of Information Science and Technology, the National University of Malaysia. So, so the key outline today, uh, I categorized here the two section. Uh, first section is uh, manuscript preparation. We will see uh, what are the techniques and the key techniques that uh, actually attract the reviewer and the editor. Uh, to accept the paper and to you know the prepare the uh, quality paper and then we will select the publication process and we'll, we'll see how the uh, process actually for the publication and uh, how we actually cater our manuscript and where to submit okay so let's start so um, this is the structure of the research manuscript so um, here we can see that uh, uh, when we have the already uh, in a research, we have some uh, literature review. We have some, you know, the we already identified our objectives, problem statements, and also we, uh, we already know the our methods and we have our already the results. So we can now start our research manuscript. That is called the article, you know, the uh, research article. So in that case, uh, we can, you know, the. Uh, structure our paper based on these uh, points first you have to have you know the uh, title and then you have to have the author and with the affiliations uh, abstract keywords okay and then uh, introduction literature review uh, related works methods and configurations uh, result and discussions conclusion and if you have some acknowledgement you can include that acknowledgement and must is the references so let us uh, enter our journey today uh, first of all is the title this is actually uh, the first impression for the paper it, it, you can say that uh, if you have the uh, good uh, title that carries all the information what you have in the paper uh, actually that uh, more you know the make the impression to the editors or the reviewers and also the readers so we, we should know that the title is very important and uh, this title actually refer the paper's main content clearly and precisely including the keywords okay so should uh, clarify the study area okay the should focus the problems aims of the study and do not use abbreviation and jargons okay some of us actually we make a silly mistake when we write the title we write some maybe uh, you know the abbreviations so we need to uh, careful about it and we need to know that the the search engines or the indexing databases depends on the accuracy of the title so this title is very important you know since they use the keywords to identify the relevant researches or the articles so a good title catches and fetches the readers uh, you know the uh, readers eye or the can attract the readers so there is a possibility to get the citation for a researcher citation is like you know the very demanded so uh, some of them actually uh, write a good paper but they don't get citation so we need to uh, careful about it when we select our keyword and uh, uh, for the title a second one is the authors the author listing this is very important you know so who actually can be the author and who cannot be the authors uh, this is very important and if if somebody has a uh, contribution he can be or she can be the author so now we see actually who can be the author uh, author in the list so only include those who have made an intellectual contribution to the research so remember intellectual contribution or those who will publicly defend the data and conclusions and who have approved the final version so see this is a very you know the depth uh, meaning here first you write a paper and then uh, researchers the authors have the contribution and the second one is the who actually can defend your manuscript and data that somebody can raise the this uh, research is fake or is the data is uh, generated data so uh, your author can uh, you know the defend that no this is uh, genuine data this is collected from the Google or this is collected from the uh, telecommunication company and I, I, I am the one who was uh, 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 you know the engaged in this uh, collection so this actually very very important when uh, you know the selecting author uh, you should know these uh, pages don't just put the names you know the in the in the list 
uh, to just increase the author list. So uh, this is very important. And uh, who actually review your paper? Review is very important. Uh, or some uh, maybe a student or the uh, one author uh, complete the paper and it should revise by the supervisors or the authors who are actually uh, interacted with this research or connected with this research and she he or she can you know the revise or review the version yeah and two three times review then paper you know the reflects more better so this actually you can choose those who actually really engaged in the first phase to the last phase of this research and also in the paper Order of the name of the author can be vary from discipline to discipline. Okay, in some fields, the corresponding author name appears first, but in other case, corresponding name can be anywhere. It depends. And the contributions actually, um, uh, some of the journals they highlighted in this way. Uh, most of the journals nowadays they follow, like uh, who actually prepared the concept and uh, who gives the idea, the formal data analysis, and who did the experiment. Uh, who were engaged with the experimentation and uh, who actually uh, give the funding and who are the funding uh, agency can be and the investigation who made the investigation who actually engaged with the methodology development and who was you know the uh, developing the mathematical model or numerical uh, analysis and who actually verify this all process can be supervisor can be field supervisor or can be the expert in the field okay so also the supervisor who validate the work review the work and edit the work can be super, uh, the author so this is very important part for you know the quality paper keywords this is very important for a, you know the uh, high quality journals as i said the uh, title title actually uh, reflect the full paper and this title is uh, only the keywords okay the connection of the keywords and these keywords are the connection of the all parts sections of a paper and it will you know directly uh, you know the connect with the all sections and it uh, uh, bring all of the information when you search a keyword then it directly uh, search that database and uh, match with that particular keyword and bring the paper in uh, in front of you so the readers are you know the attract by the keywords so we need to careful about our keywords some of us uh, some of our you know researcher and the authors they put the keyword as as their own you know uh, maybe three five ten but is not the related and some maybe in once or twice used one word in the paper and used in the keyword this is also you know the uh, meaningless you have to engage the full process of experimentation or the your models that is really you know the connected with that particular keyword then then it will be you know the more uh, you know uh, connection between the uh, your title and your uh, the paper and somebody can easily find your paper so that you can get the citation so you should uh, we should uh, specify this uh, uh, this uh, for you uh, know in in our uh, manuscript in order to you know the focus our paper more accurately well this is the first journey the abstract but this is a, you know the very very you know the sensitive place it uh, in a sense that sensitive uh, this abstract actually uh, uh, brings the attraction of full paper if somebody lost the you know the attraction or the attention of this pair here uh, he will not continue the paper it doesn't matter in which area or he is an expert in the same area he will never read this paper so this paper is where this abstract is very very important so what are inside in this abstract you see here the uh, some components we need to be careful about these components we don't need to highlight uh, like a background result method we don't need to be highlight but we need to make it technically inside your writing inside your you know the uh, uh, sentences so uh, first is the background it doesn't matter which area you are maybe in science in uh, computer science in engineering medical doesn't matter all is same concept you have to have a background study that you have to discuss uh, clearly and concisely the research goal and hypothesis as well as the purpose and overall importance of the study so this one or two sentences will carry your full you know the uh, research goal and hypothesis all right here also uh, in these uh, two sentences or three sentences will also reflect the you know the problem statement on objectives how you see here it will highlight the challenge okay or challenges 
issues of existing model algorithms that are actually really want to you want to extend or you want to you know propose one uh, novel technique or novel methods over the existing one so here you have to mechanize this uh, background study in the abstract and you have to highlight this uh, problem statement and objective this is you know some some of the uh, body connection like uh, uh, absence of each of the component is meaningless or you know this like uh, is not acting properly so this one uh, background study uh, i can say that this is the you know the eye of a paper this starts from here and then we we can you know, find uh, the next uh, component is the methods well if you use the literature review or review paper or systematic literature review you also have a methods and if you are using a scientific paper uh, you are using a technical uh, paper or technical uh, notes you also have a, you know the methods if you using uh, if you develop one uh, models or numerical models or your framework or some scheme you also have a method so you have to explain very precisely here, uh, explain how you tested your the hypothesis and, and answer your uh, research questions, okay, in these methods. Include the relevant detail about purpo uh, proposed design, source of data sets, if you're using say data sets, or samples, or data collections during your experiment or your, uh, during your data collections, okay, and the evaluation approach okay there are certain approaches you know you have to uh, mention you have to uh, uh, you know the uh, highlight it very clearly here okay so uh, uh, then these uh, methods uh, this is the, uh, the second one uh, third one is the component is the result okay so you have this background study and you have the in the background study you have uh, included the problem statement and objectives and you all, all you connected with the hypothesis and you explain your research questions and a model uh, how you model your methods and how you design your things and how you uh, uh, you know the which uh, database or which model or which parameter you have uh, used or you are going to use so and which approach you are using the um, um, uh, test bed or using the simulation or using you know the numerical uh, you have to uh, specify here more clearly and uh, you have to uh, in the result section a little bit you have to write that uh, provide the key result of the forecast study okay propose the model or um, propose model for uh, or algorithm or whatever the scheme or the framework so these did the result fulfill the hypothesis so this is one question if you have if you already mentioned in the hypothesis of the background that uh, I already highlight the problem and your objective then you have to compare here you have to match that is your hypothesis is fulfilled here and provide the comparison scenario in percentage this is the best model I, I can say that in my uh, analysis and I have seen many of the uh, you know the uh, researchers uh, they actually uh, uh, put their uh, effort here that they want to see in percentage how many uh, ratio or how many percentage you have improved your work than the previous one okay uh, the expression should support the achievement of the research okay so this is how you know the uh, the component uh, the three component this actually you your abstract is finished now but you know you have you started the background you have the methods you have the result but you have to conclude your abstract so see each of the sections you, you this style you have to follow the you, if you start something you have to conclude nicely and this conclusion will connect with the other section so you have to conclusion here that support the main conclusion of your research mainly express the achievement of the research so this abstract if you can see here it's more you know the uh, uh, more uh, elaborated you know and and you can now you can identify that what are the components missing in your abstract and what are the components should you know the include in your abstract to attract the reviewer or the editors or the uh, or the the readers all right so we start the introduction okay so in introduction the cl clearly state the problem being investigated background that explains the problem okay the reason for conducting the research summarize the relevant research to provide the context state how your work differs from the published work okay identify the questions you are answering explain what findings if you are you are challenging or extending 
briefly describe the experiment okay then hypothesis uh, research questions general experimental design or methods okay highlight the contribution uh, in the in the in the uh, in the last section you in, uh, include one of the uh, you know paragraph small paragraph that actually what are the real contribution in this paper maybe you enhanced some parameters or you enhanced some equations or a scheme some some proportions of uh, you know the model then you highlight very specifically then you know the readers can you know uh, they can understand that okay this full process your identification is mainly this 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 section so they will actually appreciate in the paper that okay you already you know the identified your contributions the next section is uh, is the uh, related work and the literature review okay um, literature review and related work is slightly different okay the literature review is a broad sense okay a related work is the work that are mostly you know the connected with your research uh, research and uh, you know the your uh, model or your proposed you know the framework or your uh, the model uh, i mean the methods so uh, we need to know that uh, what is literature review and why it is significant okay and why uh, what are the related works and how actually uh, how you actually explain and how you uh, i mean the connect with them okay the a comprehensive review of literature of the literature is significant because it provides an up to date understanding of the subject and its significance and structure it identifies the kinds of research methods that have been used okay is uh, informed by the review by the views and uh, research of experts in the field it also assists the uh, in the formulation of the research topic questions and the direction and it provides a basis on which subsequent research finding can be compared so these actually these are the significance okay we can we can know that uh, you, this significant can you know the uh, be, because of this significance the literature review is very you know the imp important now we see uh, what what should be in the literature uh, i mean the related works for, especially for you know when you go for a scientific uh, manuscript or your a research article you have to be very precise in the related work and when you write the literature review it can be more wider but uh, um, or a little bit uh, uh, you know the extended but the when you write the related work it shouldn't be you know the more you know the uh, uh, it should be more you know focused in your uh, problem or in your uh, the related you know problem statement and uh, what are the components you are uh, uh, you know uh, found from this uh, analysis so only consider those things so here you can discuss and analyze the existing most popular models and algorithms or frameworks or the schemes with appropriate evidence evidence means you have to cite the previous authors or the papers okay give proper credit and remark the issues of the work with the valid assessment okay the you you have done your assessment by simulation or numerical analysis or comparative data analysis okay yeah, don't just say that this paper uh, does not give the uh, essence of this work or it, it not reflect the the it doesn't solve the problem this is very you know the this is not the way you actually remark you have to remark when you actually justify the work in a certain you know the extent like you, you simulate the work already you have you have checked this numerical analysis uh, by using matlab or uh, particular software you compare the data by using some uh, you know the algorithm uh, you run the algorithm and you check that this uh, assessment is not valid or can improve in some uh, level of uh, you know the uh, extent you can uh, you can improve the work so you in that case you uh, actually uh, criticize or remark in that way don't just say if this work does not cover this or this uh, this work uh, has not focused this until this so we have to be very professional when we write our related work related work is something uh, uh, something you know that your uh, architecture of your main paper it actually build your main study here okay so based on this study your study your proposed one will reflect actually it will connect the work so summarize the most related existing work uh, highlighting the features advantages shortcomings limitations and the gaps uh, it actually mm, uh, if you can summarize step by step or you can summarize uh, in the in the in the last uh, paragraph or in a table wise uh, also can possible 
and clearly state the scope of the work that you want to carry out okay in the last paragraph you can say this and develop a new concept over the existing work so this is very um, key uh, points that you need to remember when you write the literature uh, related works for your uh, article research article uh, today i am actually emphasizing on mainly the related uh, the article research article so i will highlight only the uh, articles how to you know the write the technical uh, articles uh, or the research articles the methods your methods your framework here it will provide the reader enough details so they can understand and replicate uh, you know the your work so it will explain how you studied the problem and how you identify the process or procedures you followed okay and orders this uh, and order this chronologically where possible explain new method methodology in detail that you actually proposed otherwise name the method and cite the previous published work okay so if you are going to you know the assess the previous work uh, you are investigate some work and you want to write a paper based on the previous work then you need to you know cite properly and then include the frequency of observations and what type of data were recorded during your experimentation or your data uh, assessment be precise in describing the measurement and include uh, include error of measurement of uh, research design limits so uh, this is the key points you need to highlight don't i we actually are not you know um, high quality paper it doesn't mean you have to have lot of sentences you have to have unnecessary uh, in the buildings unnecessary components no need very specific uh, to the point all components are connected each paragraphs are connected sentences are connected then it will uh, you know attract the reviewer when the reviewers are attracted they will recommend your work okay the section is the result and discussion here you can see that objectively okay you need to present the findings and explain uh, what was found uh, mention the simulation parameters configurations and the simulation models that actually um, have been used during this uh, performance analysis or the assessment then you describe in in the result and discussion okay better you um, you know the make all the parameters in table wise okay if you have used the equations or some uh, performance uh, matrices you need to uh, you know the include here it's it's not uh, you know if it is repeated is some some other paper also have done but it's not harm here to repeat the same thing in your own way it means that it will clear the points it will you know the easy the uh, uh, it will ease the easy the, the reviewers or readers life that you know they can go through your entire paper they need they don't always need to refer themselves in the previous work so this is a very important thing and follow a logical sequence based on the tables and figures okay presenting the findings to answer the questions or the hypothesis uh, figures should have a brief description with a legend okay they're providing the reader sufficient information to know how the data were produced uh, most of the you know the journals they have uh, doubt about the result and the performance so they uh, check the cross check and they also uh, send the paper for the academic reviewer uh, editors to check the quality of a paper this is the last stage before the decision so this uh, actually they check the the uh, the results the components all actually are the genuine or not if you have the genuine result genuine data you should have a proper legend you should have a proper i uh, you know the beautiful uh, figures that actually uh, can you know the uh, reflect the uh, genuineness of your work that will provide all performance synopsis of the uh, proposed model and algorithms uh, provide the comparison with the uh, comparison of uh, existing popular models okay uh, this is actually something you actually achieved you need to compare with other work that uh, okay my work is you know, better than the previous uh, work and how many percentages you need to show right in that case you have to compare the expression should support the achievement of the research All right. So conclusion. Here we describe uh, what uh, result actually uh, mean in the context of what was already known about the subject. Indicate how the results relate to the expectation and to the literature previously cited. 
this is very important here if, if, if you can see the indicate how the results relate with the expectations okay and to the literature of previous cycle uh, work okay so this actually very important for in conclusion we just conclude that we have achieved this uh, level of the work we have uh, include these parameters and our work is better better and uh, we forgot to you know the uh, indicate the the result that really you know the relate the previous thing that actually uh, connect and uh, the previous work and you show that okay in this stage or in this extent or for these parameters my work is better then uh, somebody can understand oh this is why his his work is better because he imposed a parameter or he considered a new uh, equations or he considered a new component in his experiment so this is how you ex uh, you know the uh, things are actually really connected with the previously uh, literature and explain how the research has moved to the body of the scientific knowledge uh, forward this is also very important do not extend uh, the conclusion beyond what is directly supported by the result avoid undue uh, speculations outline the next step of the further study this is very important we always uh, the researchers we always uh, want to you know the, get the thing from the paper that what is next if we say that we have done 100 percent improvement then maybe this paper is good but uh, what is the you know the lead of this paper so this we need to uh, think about it when we write our scientific paper reference reference is you know the you can say this is very uh, we can say this is very uh, very very important component uh, for the paper and whenever you draw your previously published work you must acknowledge the source and when you write the you know the uh, references we need to use a particular citation software mainly or the uh, endnote you know this is the most commonly used software and um, this can you know mitigate the error in in in, in referencing some of the um, journal they have their own uh, uh, style of reference maybe somebody some journal wants apa some ieee and some their own uh, standard so you have to be careful about it only for this referencing a uh, style my paper can be rejected and some uh, some you know the uh, some of the uh, uh, journal in my experience i can see that they, if you don't include the page number or volume number and the dui they also you know the they they don't you know find the references and they just suspicious the work and just ignore the the, the manuscript so this is very important how references are presented varies uh, varies considerably referred to notes for authors for a specific journal okay avoid references that are difficult to find uh, it is very uh, a common problem you know some some of uh, very interested in maybe uh, the standards maybe standard for telecommunication uh, 3gpp or uh, imt or or some of the standards okay uh, maybe um, rfc that was uh, uh, mentioned in back in 2005 but now it's it's not there it's invalid so you you are continuing this uh, because somebody has already cited in the previous work and that paper all continued this because somebody previously also cited the same thing and you also are doing the same thing but in reality this this uh, source is invalid but in that case we have to be very careful we have to check in google scholar or in you know the uh, in uh, scopus or in web of science we have to check uh, practically and then you know the we have to uh, you know include in our uh, references avoid listing related references that were not important to the study all right this is very important you know we are very uh, keen to cite ourselves you know maybe we are writing a paper on iot but we are interested to you know the push our citation we we put our site, uh, other work in the citation link this is very harmful thing you know the, it actually weaken your your uh, manuscript maybe one or two very basic study very fundamental study for the you know very st um, early stage in your introduction or maybe in the literature you are somewhat in the parameter wise or design wise somewhat uh, connected then only you can you know the uh, cite your work and this is very also important that uh, how many you can cite yourself you know uh, i can say that if you cite more than twice you have a very good chance to get the rejection unless that uh, those uh, citations are very highly cited 
and published in high rank journal that is a different thing you can still cite uh, so we need to be careful about the citation and how many we can include well uh, it can be 15 if you have this uh, research article don't just put too many you know the references it weaken the also the you know the uh, articles if you have the 40 50 references for one you know the research article uh, it is um, uh, questionable also maybe you, you can include 200 references in your thesis maybe in your systematic literature review you can include more than 150 doesn't matter you can include but when you in, uh, are writing your your research article this is very specific and you should be very to the point maybe maybe ha maximum 25 is the good one Uh, manuscript compilation okay so we already have the manuscript now we have to compile from abstract to the you know the references we need to know actually how actually we compile so this job when when a author already write this he has to check once this all uh, this uh, uh, the check the abstract connectivity between the motivation of the study a uh, problem statement keen to fill up the research gap okay so uh, the key aim and goals uh, are fulfilled methods actually supported evaluation approach uh, performance analysis benchmarking uh, which is the comparison this is very very important for research, research article uh, you have to have a uh, several you know the uh, maybe three four um, uh, results in in if you have the many parameters then you can you know vary the parameters and you can show in different way that the, your work is better than the the, the previous work then it will justify by this comparison or benchmarking it will justify your work okay so these all components here you have to have a proper connection you know somebody will get the will read the abstract he will get the interest oh it's nice abstract now we move to the introduction when you have the introduction you get the motivation hypothesis you already described here the problem statement and and you already highlighted the contribution of your work and then he will uh, excite himself okay let's let's jump to the literature review the most uh, the wider thing here because he has to move when he uh, read the related work he has he also has to you know see the other previous work paper it doesn't I mean something not like this that he only rely on work okay so these are the connections we need to maintain the discussion is a very essential part uh, I uh, uh, already uh, said in the me uh, methods okay uh, uh, in, a, in a small way but the discussion after the resultant discussion uh, uh, in the in the resultant discussion section in the last part last paragraph the discussion here you 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 know the you you know the excite you work here and you uh, emphasize your own uh, the creation or the your proposed uh, uh, model or your uh, proposed you know the uh, novel parameters that actually really uh, solve the problem and uh, lead the work uh, than the previous one so here you emphasize in the discussion may, don't too much don't uh, make it too much maybe one paragraph uh, 10 sentences is more than enough or 15 sentences is okay uh, if a technical paper if you have many parameters if you have many consideration uh, scenarios then maybe the discussion can be longer okay the second uh, section here we have the manuscript now in the publication process the target where to submit uh, for the publication we need to find the journals okay we need to use the scopus if we go for, uh, you know keen to publish in the scopus and uh, we need to use the journal citation report to find the proper journal you have to know that which area is your you know the which uh, you know the keyword and which uh, research area you are so you need to uh, match with your particular uh, you know the journal and then the most popular are here you can see that lc viewer uh, you can choose key one uh, kill two depends on your you know the volume of your work and uh, standard of your work but always choose key one uh, uh, key one from the lc viewer spinger it transitions iit journals these are the top you know the top level of the journals and the wiley and uh, mdpi frontiers and plus one and also the others uh, have uh, many other journals they have uh, you can see how to search the 
uh, you know the particular journal in, in the JCR okay this is another technique when you uh, open the JCR you will see the search journal option by category you can you can just you know the write your op optical uh, keyword then you will find all optical journals you write here uh, you know uh, wireless uh, networking you find all wireless networking IOT you will find the IOT or you find the uh, brain research or you find the, something uh, maybe biomedical research uh, healthcare uh, you can you can just uh, write the by keyword you will uh, by category it will come okay so, and also we can find the keyword uh, same thing here in in the uh, uh, category uh, all optical category will be uh, in the on one side but when you write the only the keyword the only matching keyword will come okay this is more specific when you write the keyword uh, searching in the journal citation report okay so uh, we need to know the key elements of publishing okay the ethical issues this is very very important okay uh, and ethical issues means you know you have produced one work and you have to know that how many similar is your work with the previous work and there is some limitation we have to maintain that you know so maybe uh, i can tell that ieee they allow only four percent or below for one reference you know the maximum similarities uh, so uh, if your uh, references is uh, you know the more than uh, 15 or 20 percent your paper uh, you know the week already week so uh, we have to know this uh, this is the ethical issue and when you uh, get the you know the uh, model uh, some parameter equation you borrow from other paper you cite them okay otherwise it's a really you know the threat here the critical uh, ethical issue and now we come here the first step you done and then we come the style and languages okay and maybe we know that uh, some of us uh, not english is the first language so we need to check by you know the native language uh, editor or uh, proofread then you know the, your english will be better we have to check the structure of a paper use the proper template for the particular journal then you will get the structure the component of a paper as we mentioned in the you know, already so you have to check and internal review means your supervisor or your field supervisor or by expert in the particular field he can review the work before you submit okay then article submission uh, journal selection okay the publishers uh, process or peer review and the payment if the is not open if uh, if it is open access all right so already told the who can review okay okay so i already mentioned here already mentioned already mentioned okay so here this is um sorry Oops.
too slowly. Imagine the good piece of work. Not changing it. Not changing it. The page in the page is not moving. Can you refresh? refresh. Oh. Um, there is a technical, you know, the fault. Yeah, nowadays, that we are fully depends on internet-related studies, so we have to understand some of the drawbacks. These are the drawbacks. Okay. So, uh, as I said, that submission process, uh, we have to know. The, this is a, you know, a clear picture here. We can see that we are ready now. Our paper is ready. Our paper. We prepared our paper. We checked our paper according to the template, and we we. Uh, our reviewer, internal reviewer, they reviewed. Uh, maybe you have three supervisors uh, for PhD. All of them, you know, checked your work, and then you are ready to submit. Now this picture comes. You you are ready, so you pre-check, submit your paper here. The journal will pre-check, okay, and then it will send to the peer review, all right? And uh, it will wait for the de editor decision. Some of the you know editor. Uh, the editor in chief or assign any editor, he will check the paper quality. Uh, as I said uh, previously, that if you have any problem in any you know component problem or uh, title problem, title is very weak, doesn't reflect the paper. An abstract is very weak, not connected. The components are not reflected. The editor will not get interested, so he will directly reject here. So you see the red here, right? It will directly reject. Okay, so this pre-check is done, so you get the rejection. So for that case, I said that if we uh, follow all of the components properly for a research article, so we can avoid this rejection in the pre-stage. Okay, um, there is another uh, possibility. If you submit your paper, you are writing your paper in mobile communication, but you submitted in medical science, there is no scope. So editor will see that uh, oh, why I uh, accept this paper and I who I send this uh, to review, he will be upset. So he will directly reject. So we have to careful about uh, you know the uh, selecting the journal and the submission. Okay, so editor uh, feels that okay this paper is reliable can send to the editors uh, reviewers. Sorry, the reviewers okay then review the process. Yeah, you can see that and then maybe they will send for revise or minor uh, major correction. Or in some what they can directly you know give you the results like uh, if any any problem minor stays uh, corrections they re directly rejects and give you the option to resubmit maybe or if it's not satisfied in any case they will directly reject and no uh, resubmission it happens in many journals specifically I can say that in IEEE uh, they are very standard journals and they follow this way. All right. So once you have the uh, have the minor correction or major correction, uh, you have to go for these uh, stages. Like uh, you have to revise your paper and you resubmit, and then uh, you know the if it is accepted, then uh, you have to you have the process of copy editing, English editing, proofreading, the final uh, level of stage that you have to confirm, uh, reconfirm your authorship, your your name, spelling, affiliations. Uh, some uh, problems, uh, small problems. You have to, you can, you know, have the option. Then you can uh, recheck and recorrection, recorrect. Okay, and then the rest of the process, the typesetting, the editor will do your final stage for to publish your work. Okay, so these are some uh, tips. Um, editors and reviewers are looking for original and innovative research that will add to the field of study. Uh, uh, study keys key area uh, uh, main the points are the for research based paper that we are actually talking about ensure that you have enough evidence to justify the sound statistical conclusion okay there should have no you know the you cannot uh, say the literature here the english uh, poem or you know you uh, hypothesize your work many many times that you have done a you know the trimming the job inside your paper 
but it's not supporting this evidence not connected with the component sections uh, that means your work is not sound so uh, this is a point other point is uh, for a larger study it may be better to produce one important uh, research paper rather than number of average incremental paper this is very important you know we uh, for academia we are very um, keen to publish more papers you know and some of the academia they are actually uh, have you know some of the academic uh, points so they uh, go for it but you know the in, in in terms of the number we can go for the uh, uh, quantity we can go for the you know one better uh, quality journal that is a more you know that can bring more citations and can make the more standard you know way of uh, uh, citation and it can get the more you know priority in the scholarly so do not write a survey review paper until you uh, uh, you really, uh, verify the scientific uh, way you uh, you know the follow the proper investigation or you follow a proper template or proper organized way then you can only go for the survey or review paper because this is very extent level of work and very hypothetic work there i can say that you have to maintain a proper formula for the review and survey paper for review and survey paper i skip from this because i i already told that this uh, presentation is mainly based on the research article for the survey and review there is uh, one more you know the um, uh, the presentation that is a another you know the world that can bring you more style uh, of the work and more stylish you know way that can you know the write the paper and uh, yeah you can follow that uh, we also have uh, that uh, you know the webinars you can see from our faculty okay so um, all of my uh, sources are kind of collected from the lc viewer mdpi and the academia okay and uh, i also followed some of the journals uh, they follow and the uh, editors thought reviewers thought as i am a reviewer in many journal uh, uh, and also the uh, i can see many of the uh, uh, the you know the books uh, published journals and uh, i i have participated the uh, LC viewer seminars um, and also the web of science uh, the seminar and we I know that uh, this is the and the main thing so I all collected from those sources so uh, these are very uh, authentic sources all right so uh, here the, we have a question and answer session but uh, since this is a Facebook uh, live we, we cannot directly connect um, you can uh, send your comment uh, i will try my best to answer you and also you can connect me uh, through my whatsapp and email uh, you know my uh, all is given here you can you know the connect with me i can uh, try to uh, answer all the things that you require my research interest here i can see that i am really work on the 5g mobile communication wireless sensor network uh, cyber physical system artificial intelligence and a smart grid technology so any of the uh, area you you match you can you can uh, contact me for your further uh, research interest or you know for the studies we have many programs here uh, phd masters and this uh, national university of malaysia is a top uh, university uh, one of the top universities in malaysia so yeah you are welcome here and also, I really welcome you to the questions. Thank you.